Hi, Ben Pascoe for LearningSurfPhotography.com. I'm gonna give you a really quick update on a few new bits and pieces, accessories, lens port that I've got for the Seafrog Salted Line A6XXX housing, um, which I've been using with my A6000 and my A6500. So first things first, uh, ignore this for a second, I'll come on to that, but I've got the small dome port. So when I first did my unboxing and initial thoughts about this housing, one of the things that came up was the dome port that came with it which is a bit bigger and it's got a, a lens hood. That one wasn't suitable for my small fisheye lenses that I really like to use for surf photography. So, namely, the Seven Artisans 7.5mm um, f2.8 fisheye, which is my current kind of favourite rectangular fisheye. So, since then, um, Seafrogs have released this, which is a four inch dome port, which looks a lot more like this is a, an Ike like dome port that's got a similar size. And here's my liquid eye dome port for my C6000, which I I still uh, really like. And there's a few advantages, I'll come, come back to them. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite similar. This one is still smaller, a bit more compact. So what can I tell you about this? I've used it with the Seven Artisans fisheye. Uh, I'll put up some sample shots, but it's what you'd expect. The key difference between this one and the liquid IC6000 is this uh, vignette slightly on this one. So because the distance between the front of the housing and the and the rim of this dome is is it's very small on this, but it's too just a fraction too long to make a completely unobstructed view for this fisheye because it's so wide. So um, it's not a huge issue, and I'll show you some some samples of. Where, what that vignetting looks like, it's not too bad, especially considering this is covering nearly 180 degrees of, of uh, coverage. But if you use the Samyang 8mm f2.8 version 2, then it won't have that vignetting. Or if you use the Sony 16mm with the fisheye adapter, then it won't have that vignetting either. Those are the lenses this is designed for. It just happens to work with this one as well, so it's a bit of a bonus. Um, and I don't have either of those lenses anymore because this one, like I say, is my favourite at the moment. So bear that in mind, you can get uh, the Samyang 8mm f2.8, which I, I've got a video about. Um, very highly regarded lens, really, really sharp, small, lightweight, uh, and I'd recommend that one to go with this dome. Um, so yeah, I, I've had no issues with it. It kind of screws on and off in the same way as any of the other ports. Um, as you can see, it's nice and small. It doesn't get in the way. Um, I would, if you're gonna, if you want to shoot fisheye, surf photography fisheye with this housing, then I'd get this port rather than the bigger dome. So there you go, that's simple as that. I, I pick one up from Seafrogs now. Incidentally, while you're on their site, you can use my code LSP for learning surf photography. Pop that into the, the discount code box on the checkout and you get 5% off of your purchase. So this is another thing that you can buy through the Seafrog site. This is the ST100 Pro underwater strobe. And this is designed for dive photographers. And they often have two of these, one coming off each side, so they can take really close up macro shots of sea creatures um, and get, get the lighting right, basically, because it's quite dark underwater, as you probably know. So there's lots of dials and switches on the back. There's a twist off cap here for the batteries. So it recycles fairly quickly. I've had a few questions from, from dive photographers about this since I um, kind of revealed that I, I had one. Um, but I want to use it for surf photography, which is not its intended use. And as you can see, it's fairly bulky, but not so much that I can't hold this one handed uh, and still shoot. Um, I won't want to have too many of them on here. These like ball clamps um, are available separately and they're really, really good. First time I'd use these and it's a revelation how easy they are to use. I'd, I'd recommend them if you're going to be going for a dive lighting system. I'm sure you already know that if, you, if you're into that stuff. So I won't go into too much depth because I am a rookie at using strobes in general, um, and especially underwater ones. So what I wanted to do was just set it up, whack it onto whatever low, medium, full power, um, using the dial on the back and pop up my, um, my flash that's on the top of the A6000. Uh, well, you know what that looks like. It pops up inside. This is a, an infra, uh, infrared, this is a fiber optic cable. So the flash bounces off a little reflector inside, goes up this cable, goes into this little sensor on the bottom, and that triggers the main flash. And 
it's clever enough to pretty much do that without you. I didn't change any settings. I just, I, all I did is just the power and I press the button and it goes flash. And it does about one every second. So basically you get one per wave. Um, so you've really got to work on your timing. It's actually a really, really useful tool to work on your timing for barrel shots with a fisheye. I've used it with the 10 to 18 mil Sony lens, the F4 um, on autofocus, which sometimes there's a bit of a delay because it's trying to focus. Um, and because generally when you, well, when I want to use a flash is like twilight. So I'm just like adding a bit of extra light into the tube. Um, otherwise it'd be quite dark. So I found that it struggled to focus instantly. Whereas with the fisheye, then I set it on manual focus anyway. So it's just, as soon as I press that button, it flashes, it takes the photo, it does it all at once. So then all you're doing is working on your timing. So the ones you get right, right in the barrel, it lights up really nicely. Um, you get those, that kind of nice sparkly effect on the, any water drops that are falling and you get um, that kind of cool, it's quite distinctive when you've got a flash shot of something moving really quickly. You'll notice it in a lot of skateboarding photos and then obviously surf photos involve the flash because the, ma the fastest um, shutter speed on the A6500 with the flash and the A6000 is 1 160th of a second, which if you just took one, took a photo of a wave without a flash, then it would be a little bit blurry because things are moving quickly. You really want to go for 1 1,000th of a second or faster to freeze the action. So what the flash does is any action that's caught by that flash gets frozen and exposed um, on, onto the sensor um, as a static thing, but you'll see a little bit of blur and it kind of, it's almost like background blur with a frozen element. Um, so I, like I said, I'm a rookie at this. I'm really just trying it out. I've got a couple of shots that I quite like so far, but I'm hopeful that this is gonna be um, a fun thing to do when it's, well, uh, in the winter in the UK, the days are really short, the nights draw in very quickly. So this is gonna be useful to just extend the time that I can shoot. Um, uh, and make the most of that kind of twilight little period that I've got instead of me having to do long exposures all the time, which is the other option when it gets quite dark. So that was just to give you a heads up about those two. Uh, the other thing that I did get was this neoprene cover. And actually this neoprene cover works great whether you have the standard flat port or this little dome port. So what I tend to do is, generally I'm not using this, it's just I just wanted to put this on to show you what it was. So when this is off, it just attaches to the hot shoe mount there. So it just slides off when I want it off. You just bundle this in. It's got a little hole for the, um, for the pistol grip. So pistol grip on, pull it on, shove my camera in, wrap it up in this, chuck it in my surf bag and it's protected and ready to go. So yeah, I like that. That's a good touch. I'd pick one up if, um, if you're just picking up one of these housings with the flat port or this little dome port, grab one of these as well. Obviously bigger ports don't fit in. Like I say, the majority of the time I'm using this little, little mini dome or the standard flat port anyway. So that was just a little update on the sea frogs. So um, check out the links below. I'll have got a full unboxing and first impressions of this housing. And I'll put some samples of um, the, the shots that I've got from this on the learningsurfphotography.com website. So check those out too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Just going to be putting up a video on the Sony 100-400mm uh, GM G Master lens uh, for surf photography. So if that's something you're interested in, check that out. And there'll be more coming soon. Thanks very much.